Hello, and we're back with another installment of video tutorials from Arvix for NotCommerce. Today we are going to explore how to add third-party plugins to your NotCommerce instance. As you can see on the screen in front of us, we have a default instance of NotCommerce. We're already logged in, and so we'll go ahead and start by clicking on Administration. And we'll start by looking under Configuration and Plugins. Let's click on that and we can see the default plugins that are included with NotCommerce already listed here. Quite a bit of them already so there's uh, a lot to look through. Uh, you'll see things like the built-in Nevo slider and the built-in Google Analytics and other plugins that are relevant based upon region that you'll be deploying your NotCommerce store for. So we now see where we'll come in to look at the plugins once they are made available to the NopCommerce instance. Now there are a lot of third-party NopCommerce plugins available on the market. I'm going to go to one of my favorite providers, which is Nop Templates, and their Nop Ultimate Plugin Collection. These guys have done a great job on maintaining plugins that are compatible with multiple versions of NopCommerce and truly do deeply extend the functionality and capability of NOP Commerce with what they offer. So I'm also going to go to my downloads for their site. Uh, they, the folks over at NOP Templates have made this available to me to demo. So we'll click here. Going through our usual steps for downloading. It's also cool that they use NOP Commerce to not only provide the plugins but actually to run their own website so we'll click all that and I'll save the zip file to my desktop and what we'll do here is extract to the ultimate plugin collection folder and you'll see that they've got various versions from 2.6 up through 2.8 at this point in time and we'll go ahead and extract 2.8 since that's what we're working with right now and double click on that folder you can see the collection of plugins here and as I said there is a wide array and they are all very very helpful in bringing your NOP Commerce instance up to a very professional and polished looking the e-commerce solution for your company or your client's company. Now for today I'm going to go ahead and choose to install the uh, J Carousel plugin. Now you've seen we, we're in the NOP Ultimate Plugin Collection 2.8 folder and we have the 7spike.nop.plugins.jcarousel folder right here. Now since I'm working from localhost I'm going to go ahead and open up my instance of Visual Studio 2012 and I'm going to temporarily stop it because otherwise I can't add any files. Now I'm going over to the plugins folder here under NOP Web and it may be a little confusing so what we're going to do is show all files. Now that I've done that you can see all the folders that are there. It helps make it a lot make a lot more sense for why we're about to do this. What we'll be doing is grabbing 7 spikes.notplugins.jcarousel and drag over to the plugins folder and drop. You can now see that it's here with all the other plugins that come built into NopCommerce and we'll go ahead and restart our Visual Studio instance and we'll just close this to keep our windows to... and now we're going to go back into the admin section of the site to do our second half of our plugin installation. We'll highlight configuration and scroll down to plugins and click on plugins. Now you'll see at the top 7 spikes core that's one thing we need to make sure that we install before we install the J Carousel for 7 spikes. Let's go ahead and click the install link here. And we're waiting for everything.
something to install. Sometimes it may take a little longer than others. Okay, and now let's go ahead and install the Seven Spikes J Carousel. And now we see that that's also installed. Notice that after we installed the J Carousel plugin, we have the plugins drop down here in the top of the menu, and there's our knob J Carousel. And we also now have the option to manage the J Carousels. So, depending on what plugin you've installed, you will have different options here underneath the plugins drop down. Um, for instance, if we want to add a J Carousel, we would click the button and follow through the menu prompts uh, we see here. Most providers of third-party plugins will give you instructions and as far as installation and configuration. So check with your plugin provider and enjoy your plugins. So today we have covered how to install third-party plugins in Knob Commerce, specifically using the Visual Studio 2012 interface and the administration section in Not Commerce. We hope you've enjoyed the tutorial today from Arvix for Not Commerce. Thanks.